and, uh, and show you how it works. Always takes just a few seconds. There you go. Here we go. So the first thing you'll notice in the new Symbia Nana compared to the previous software is that the icons are new. They are very colorful, very friendly, very fresh. So here you can see my personalized home screen. I've uh, put another picture of, of Singapore in the background. You can see the same, same icons here. Um, and when you go to the, to the main menu, you can see the, the colorfulness and the friendliness of the icons. So let me now go into the, the photos and, uh, and show you the, the picture I just took. Yep, absolutely great. I can see everybody's face here. This is going to be a great memory. So what I want to do here is I want to upload this to my private OviShare account. So what I just do is, is I, I click email. Now this view is something that, that everybody who's been using an N8 is already familiar with. So you can see the, the QWERTY like this. But uh, when I turn it like this, now you can see something new. So what we have added here is this new QWERTY, this, uh, this portrait QWERTY. But not only that, actually what you can see here is another thing as well, which is the split screen. So on the bottom of the screen you can see the, the, display, uh, the, the QWERTY keyboard, and, and on the top you can see the application uh, running in the background. So what I can do now is, is I can just go there and, uh, and add a text, hi, well, something like that, and then I just select the, the email address, done, out it goes. Now it's uploading to my OV share and I can, I can watch it later from the web. Fantastic. Now because of the, the, the multitasking, I just put it in the background and it's sending and I can keep on doing other things. Another great improvement now in the Symbian Anna is the, is the new browser. So here, as an example, you can see how fast it is. So once the, the content has been downloaded, it just takes a few seconds and, and, uh, and all the content is rendered on the screen. So much faster experience than in the past. Really great, but that's not everything. Steven, is there a, a website that you'd like me to, to demo? Why don't we see what uh, Bing has to say about Symbian Anna? No problem, no problem. What I can do here is I just add another window. So I leave the, the, the uh, site open that I just showed. I add another window in here, and then I can do, do a search. And actually, search has been integrated here really easily and, and really nicely. So all I need to do is, is uh, tap here where the, where the URL bar is, and then click what I want to search for, Symbian Anna. And then just press here where the search button is, and it goes immediately to search and, uh, and gives me all the results. And, and what you can see here is that the URL is, is visible there, but when I start scrolling, it, it disappears. So I get the full screen for the browser experience. And if I want to, to see the, 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 the URL again, I just click here in the top of the, the screen, and it, it comes, up, comes back up. Now let's look at another thing. So I just used the, the search word Symbian Anna. Let's see how many hits I can find from the web by taking the desktop, uh, desktop view. Again, downloading the content. Once the content is there, it renders really fast. 2,460,000 results. And uh, this is a very good start. And now when Nokia starts communicating the Symbian Anna to, to the wider uh, kind of uh, audiences and, and consumers, I'm sure this, this number will start going up very soon. So let me just go through the, the last demo I have time for today, which is the Nokia Maps. So the new Nokia Maps client has been available for download for, for, for some time, but now it's integrated for the first time in the Symbian Anna. So when I click the, the icon, it, uh, it opens, and, uh, and what you can see here is now is Singapore. It's in a 3D view. And, and one of the great things about the Nokia Maps is that you can actually get you get some of these 3D building images there, so you can really easily see where you're going and what the, what the landscape looks like. But another thing, which is, is something I use every day and, and I find is just absolutely fantastic, are the favorites. So each one of these, these um, purple marks here with the white star in between is a, is a favorite that, that I have stored either via the, the, uh, the phone or then by going to maps.ovi.com. And then all those favorites that I've stored there just immediately get... Um, get uh, synchronized to the phone. So 
whenever I'm here in, in Singapore, if I want to find a place, I just put it here, and wherever I want, want to then, then navigate to, I just uh, I find the place, and uh, I just click, click the navigation, and, and off I go. If you have, no, haven't tried that sort of synchronization, please go to maps.ovi.com. Also, there's a really fantastic 3G uh, experience available there. So this is uh, all I had time for, for you today, but please go and, and see the demos yourself during the breaks at the demo areas, uh, and, uh, and I'm sure you're going to be all very impressed.